everybody welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here my name is Melissa or Missa welcome today I am going to be doing a very kind of informal handheld look around my beauty room I moved everything about just because I was really bored of how it was set out and it annoyed me I wanted to give myself more space clean it up have a deep clean so we're just gonna see my new setup and look through my drawers and just you know look at makeup it's basically that is the most fun thing in the world. The, this makeup look, by the way, I just filmed it. This will be up on Sunday if you're interested. And yeah, that's it. I mean, that's all I've got to say. I don't even think I've got an outro for this video. We're just gonna look at makeup. To be honest, what could be nicer on a Tuesday evening? I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Okay, so this is now how my room is set up. So you come straight in the door and my desk is right here, as you can see. And I put my other Alex drawers just beside it, I've still got my Ikea like thing. Um, whites are right ahead of me, which is just great. And then I'm just sitting against a blank wall, which I hung my fairy lights up on. I got these on Amazon, if you are wondering. And you can't actually see the heater when I'm sitting down, which is good. And then over on this side, I've just got my tall Alex drawers and a case that I managed to empty because I did declutter a little bit of stuff. Some perfume on top, a random plant that I'm still not sure what to do with. And then over here behind my lights I have this, it's another Ikea little stand thing and I just keep PR bits over here or empty boxes to post stuff to people to, um, yeah, you, you, I can't throw away a good cardboard box basically because then I don't want to buy another one when I'm posting stuff. So we'll start with my tall nine drawers. I'm just gonna shut the door because it's cold and I definitely have my heater on. So yeah, this is the top. That's my perfumes there and then I've had this case for years. I got it on eBay or Amazon for like 25 pounds. And I don't know, I'll probably just keep it because I'll definitely find something to put in there, let's be honest. So this is where I keep my palettes. So this top drawer is mostly like my nude palette. Um, or like neutrals, so things like my beloved, let's be honest, Dose of Colours for Indication. I have to be really careful not to uh, let you see me because I look atrocious. My Technic Matte, done many videos on these things. My Venus Immortalis, I've got my Colourpop That's Taupe, which I actually really like. Let me just uh, brighten this. Oh, just a little, um, a little Lottie London one, my Colourpop Blow and Smoke, that is a Primark one under there. So that drawer is like not my favourite drawer obviously. Um, I've got Naked Honey, Born to Run, my Soap palettes that I will never get rid of, my Lottie London that I adore. And second drawer down is more colourful palettes. Um, I actually just did a video on this. This is the Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue. Look at that. I've got a couple of NYX back here. My Modern Dreamer and my Swear By It. I love the Swear By It. To be honest, I haven't really used the Modern Dreamer. And my two Venuses. Got we Pat McGrath. Dose of Colours. Um, I did a big declutter recently, um, but I have had some new additions, like my Melt palettes are there. Just happily, happily sitting there. So they're the yeah, like small, colourful palettes. And then we've got medium, well there's some small here, like this Lloyd London one, my Beauty Bay Pastels. Got my Coloured Rain Vivid Pigments, Jewish Place Wahala. Number two is currently on its way to me in the post. My beloved Mitchell, which is kind of poked at the back because I don't really use it that much now. Um, some single shadows there. I've also got Natasha Denona Tropic. Um, a tart one. Oh, my Beauty Bay ones are under here as well. These palettes are fantastic. The Book of Magic, or is it Book of Spells? I don't know. Look at that. Wow. That's really pretty. I love that so much. Moving down. Bigger pellets. Jaclyn Hill. Clearly I sat my sponges on it. I like that one. 
And then we've got my Patricia Bright, my Morphe 35C, James Charles, Big XX one, my only remaining Norvina. I got rid of the other ones. I just didn't use them, to be honest. That might be them all. Is it? No, it's not quite them all. <laughs> and then we've got more random palettes, like my new Mitchell, Feet on the Ground. This is beautiful. Bright Mattes is wonderful. My favourite Huda is definitely the Mercury Retrograde. I'm never going to be able to open this with one hand. Yeah, I am. I legit use this palette all the time, like in my own time. My Carnival, my XL Pro of course, and my Moon Dust. And I don't think, yeah that's just fake nails. That is like holders that I've got spare. Gems, many many gems, don't think. Oh, skincare. Got some lovely masks the other day from Charlotte. I might do the CBD one tonight. Um, and then I've got other sheet masks, lots of pixie stuff. This hasn't got my name on it. Oh, there we go. And other various ones. And then the bottom drawer, I think, is just, yeah, it's just where I keep my earrings. So that is my nine drawer. I managed to free up some space in there. I was really happy about that. Um, taking you over to this corner, this actually just arrived like half an hour ago. The, uh, what's it called? Metallics by, is it XX? Yeah, XX Revolution. Honestly, that collection doesn't really appeal to me, so this will just go straight to the charity shop. Um, I put, uh, I did probably put the vast majority to the charity shop, and then the smaller majority, it just goes straight to my patrons. I just, I'd rather give it to them than like do giveaways. I don't know, it's just, it's just how I am. So in here I've got more random stuff like some of the Friends palettes. I actually bought these brushes in TK Maxx just to give to someone. Um, what have I got? Colourpop Rollerball Lip Gloss, Keeps Lashes. I've got the three new Huda palettes in there. And um, what else have we got? ABH Lip Gloss, Colourpop. Um, the little mini soft glam, the Urban Decay stoned. So just a bunch of stuff that I'll do giveaways to my patrons with, or give to the charity shop. What's this? Got some colour pop bits for a friend, and oh, well, first of all, I'll show you this. I got this really cool. Oh man, you're seeing my feet. Sorry. This is the I just got sent this from Benefit and I just thought it was so fun. Two little cocktails and a glass and then this is one of their like Christmas tins and this has inside it full-size dandelion, full-size bad gal bang and a mini professional. I kind of want to keep it just for the mascara but um, I'm gonna be oh, I'm gonna be nice and give it away. I am, I'm gonna give it away to someone else. And then I thought this was rather interesting, the new Cabon D palette. I really, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or give it to someone else, but like, oh, hopefully I didn't break it. No, it's fine. Actually looking at it, it is really pretty. Like some of those shades I really do just want to smear on my eyes. But, you know, is it unique enough? Probably not with that top right like that one. That shimmery cranberry. Oh, some of those shades just are really pretty, right? But yeah, I can't decide because I have so many palettes and do I need it or not, right? Let's move over to the desk. Um, my lights are linked in my description box, if you are wondering. And my chair, by the way, sits here, but obviously I put it out of the room to have more room. And I only have a rug here to catch any makeup that I drop on the floor so I don't stay in the carpet, which is a good job. Don't look at my bin. Okay, so I won't go in like any great depth because I feel like I've done that in all my declutter videos, but top drawer on the left is highlighters, some notable ones. Benefit cookie, come on, come on. I'm really enjoying this Maybelline Chrome Extreme in Sandstone Shimmer. It's so beautiful. 
Or Ray Rider from Kaleidos is also a favourite. I use that all the time. My dupe Amrezi dupes. Oh, this is quite new to me. I love it. Milani Dolce Perla. These are my like creams. I've got Fenty, Makeup Revolution, Benefit, Benefit, Morphe Collection, ColourPop, and then I've got my Jaclyn palette and then two Benefit palettes there that I enjoy. This one's got Cookie in it as well, which you can see. <laughs> well loved. And then next door down we have blush. I definitely have like the least amount of blushes, but I still feel like I've got plenty. I've got some lovely cream ones. Favourite would definitely be Maybelline in, I think it's apricot something. I don't know if it says it on here. Yeah, I can't see the name, but I think it's like apricot something. That's so beautiful. Or Fenty Fuego Flush is stunning. I probably won't be able to open it with one hand. No. This Lime Crime one is so beautiful. I keep using it now ever since I did the video for Look Fantastic, which actually, let me just pop me down so I can open this. Might be up after this, but I use this in it and it's Gorgina. Nina, my lovely friend Nina, sent me this Melt one in Buzzkill. Ooh. And yeah, I've been digging into that recently. And then I've got, I mean, I've got heaps of drugstore <laughs> blushes as well. Wee. Heaps of drugstore as well, like Milani, Max Factor, Life's a Peach is a great one. My little Nick Sweet Cheeks, I love those. My, uh, Makeup Revolution. I love blush. I absolutely love it. And then this drawer down here is bronzers and contours and bronzer palettes and contour palettes. And it goes all the way to the back. This is probably my most stuffed drawer. Uh, what have we got? We've got things like Fenty, the creams. These are all really like shoved in. Hula, Hula Light. I've got a MAC one here still to try. A lovely NARS one from my friend Nissa. Um, my... One from Nabla, I love the packaging on that. Then my Revolution Pro one that I adore. Beauty Bay, still kind of testing that. Oh, this is excellent. The Primark Bronze Whip. Oh, okay, oh no, it's my hand, you can't really see my, oh! Ooh! Bronze Whip's great. My beloved Belgian Waffle. Beloved contouring kit. Oh, I've got my very fancy Charlotte Tilbury one here. And then in the back I've got just more, like I've got just more stacked up. I've got more here. This is probably my favourite one of them all. Charlotte Tilbury film star box and glow. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> oh, I've got such nice friends. My jouet. I definitely could cull this down, but I do quite like having all the options to be honest. And then the next drawer is just makeup towels. And what's this? That is stuff. Um, okay, moving over to the right hand side. This is where I always keep my computer or now my iPad, which I got recently. It's so handy, it's so portable. I love it. So top drawer is like primers, moisturizers, stuff that I do before I put my makeup on, so I've been really testing out this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I really like it. Pro, I wouldn't purchase it because I don't think it does that much, but it does feel nice. But my Hyalamide HD Blur, that's good for the wrinkles. I love the NYX High Glass, that's really shimmery. Obviously, my Becca, which is so well used. Um. My Super Dewy is great, and my, I don't know if you can see the back there, my Watermelon Overnight Sleeping Mask I love, and then Charlotte sent me a gorgeous package and it had this mini one in it, <laughs> it's too much. Um, and obviously my Amelia Rate Moisturiser, which I love. And I don't know if you can see it back, I've got a few spares. So yeah, that's my kind of steps before makeup, or actually just before bed as well, I just tend to keep them all together. And now I can't shut this drawer and it's going to annoy me. And then, this drawer is shameful to be honest. Concealers, uh, I've got too many. 
these are all drugstore, these are all high end, and then down at the side it's all primers. So like, Kaleidos, Makeup Revolution, MAC, Revolution, MAC, ABH, and then yeah, concealers. Some of them are contouring concealers, like some of them are, as you can see, but most of them are face concealers, so. Oh, I don't know, I get stressed when I look in the store, but concealer's one of those things I just keep buying. And then my high-end ones, Tarte, I probably use that the most, or Benefit, or this one from Too Faced is amazing. That Jeffree Star one I obviously got ages ago, but it's good for contouring. My beloved Jouer, come on. Then we have, oh, I tried to put it in order of like how I do it, so I've got foundations then. I got this organizer on Etsy. And I don't know, I feel like I don't have that many foundations now. I did try and get rid of quite a lot of them. But like my favorite is definitely the NARS. I've got one, two, three, four. No, oh, one of them must be ABH, nope. I've got four NARS Natural Radiant, all in various degrees of being used up. Um, that's the new one that I am adoring. But drugstore, I've got like L'Oreal, Revolution, Maybelline, Morphe, Revlon, Revolution, a lot of Revolution, L'Oreal, True Match, Catrice. I love drugstore foundations, but I definitely reach for my high-end ones a lot more than drugstore. This is a total favourite as well, the Ciate Extraordinary. I don't feel like anyone talks about it, and it's so beautiful. Again, I could get rid of some of these, like looking in the store right now, I could get rid of the Makeup Forever, I could get rid of the Jouer, I could get rid of Cover FX, I could probably get rid of my Armani, but, you know, I hang on to things when I shouldn't. Then I've got my powders. I really like powder, as you can probably tell. Coty Airspun, which is almost done, so thank you. Um, Fenty, I love it. Drugstore, I really like the Bacon Block, or what's it called? Yeah, Bacon Block, that's really nice. Oh, someone just clearly fell over. This is the skin of it, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a bit paranoid there. Uh, Laura Mercier is wonderful. I really like that hourglass. Would I ever purchase it? No, again, no, but it's lovely. Jaclyn Hill, I've used that maybe two or three times. Oh, I love the Huda one. And I really love the Jeffree Star powder, which is a big shame, because I'm never gonna buy him again, but you know, you know, I still love it. And then that's a Benefit Dandelion Twinkle, which is more like an all over powder. Um, and then the bottom drawer in there I think is empty. Like, freed up a drawer. And then I've got my one, two, three, four, six, one, two, six drawer over here, which we will look at next. Okay, so top drawer is where I keep my setting sprays and I had a huge clear out. I had two drawers of setting sprays, like two of these full drawers. I had a big clear out, so now I only have this many, which is still a lot, because it does go all the way to the back, but it's less than it was. The All Nighter Ultra Glow is a favorite. I really like the Pixie. I love the spray on the Fenty. I mean, the L'Oreal Shaking Glow is always a favorite, right? Or the Glam Glow, ooh, so beautiful. That, I got bloods taken today, so just ignore that. Um, yeah, sex spray. I love sex spray. I'm kind of addicted to it. And then this drawer here, this is actually how I freed up that cabinet that you saw. I've just got three look fantastic, like empty boxes in here. So this is all brow stuff. So my pink honey that I use every day, I love it. My brow pomades, I do really like this XX one. Um, brow gels, I like the dip brow pomade gel. And I keep this Primark bottle in here. It's just got water in it now for wetting the pink honey. I've got heaps of stuff. I definitely do tend to go, I veer more towards high-end makeup on the whole, and that is the same with brows, but I do have a lot of drugstore, like the Essence make me brows really good. The XX is really good. Uh, some of the pencils in here are like Revolution, and they're very good. And then in the middle here is just tools, um, like put on brow tools, uh, put on lash tools, lash glue, scissors, Get rid of Melissa's moustache. That brow soap is actually very good and that should be in the compartment. And I've got my ABH oil in here, which I use for wetting my 
dip brow pomade when it dries out and then over here is mascara i've got quite a lot i opened them all well this one was sent to me from rebecca so i am <laughs> anyway that's new but yeah the rest of them are pretty much all open i use them all it's fine we know i don't really care about mascara because i use falsies this drawer is palettes that I still have to do videos on. <laughs> Told you I've got a backup. A backlog, sorry. So I've got my Stone Cold Fox. I used that today. Just playing. This is my other Lois Cosmetics one. Played with that today. I've got these beautiful XX ones from Lisa. She sent me these. She's a lovely sausage from the States. And she bought me the pink one and the purple one. And I've yet to do videos, but I will, at least I promise. I've got the Kaleidoscopic Dreams I still need to do a video on, but you can see I've dipped into it. I actually used that the other day and really liked it. Uh, I've got these Juvia's Place ones, my stunning Natasha Denona Glam palette. Nina, my lovely friend Nina sent this to me. <laughs> is all my makeup sent to me by friends? A lot of it is. I'm very lucky. Hold on. So this is one of the most recent Natasha Denona's and I have actually been playing with it in my own time. Uh, this beautiful baby, NYX Utopia. Apparently it's still not come to the UK which is ridiculous. Got Maybelline Soda Pop, another Juvia's Place one, look at that. There's no way I was getting rid of that. Still got to do my sugar pill video on Gina, I'm sorry. That's just a sleeve. Still got my elf to do a video on that, it's from Elena. Yeah, Elena sent me this, so I did the, the stickery words. Oh, the Equalizer, volume two, from Sample Beauty. This is really pretty, I actually used this the other day. Just on my own, that was lovely. I've got Morphe, Technic Morphe. Still not done a video on the, <laughs> the Cyber Lavender, or whatever it's called, from Kaleidos. Oh, hold on. I've used it in my own time. <laughs> um, these, I actually bought these from a sausage. We've got a selling page and I bought these two and she very kindly sent this along with it. And I thought honestly they might have been used or swatched. Let me pop you there so I can open them. And they're all brand new. Look at these. How stunning is that? That's the inner trance. So yeah, I've got to do a video on that. Then this one is maybe more exciting. What's that called? All ran out. Look at that middle shade. So beautiful. And yeah, this is the Miss Bliss, which actually I really quite like. Um, my sausage left a note saying, you know, I know you don't really like orange, but I thought I'd give you the full set. But I think it's definitely more peach, peachy pink. So I will definitely get use out of that. Um, I need to do a ColourPop video, like just dedicated ColourPop. But I don't have any base products really from Colourpop, so... Ooh, okay. And then the next one down is like miscellaneous stuff that I still need to try. So I've got some new Lois Cosmetics glitters. I've still not played with my Be Perfect Get Wet highlighters. Um, what else? This like Kiss False Scara set I really want to try. That's just a backup of my Too Faced eyeliner that I love. Foundations to try, I've got Zoeva. I've got this Lancome. I bought this off a of sausage as well. We've got, I've definitely got a few more in here. Oh yeah. This Maybelline to try, I've got the Huda one somewhere. The Huda stick one, I still need to do a video on. Um, what else of note? in here. I don't see anything else hugely of note. Oh, I did get this Fenty matchstick. I bought this. This is in the shade Trippin. Because look at that colour. And you know how I feel about peach. I, oh, these dazzle sticks from KVD. Stunning Barry M things. Yeah, I still need to play with a lot of that stuff. Then this drawer is all... Ooh, Everything's dropping. Lashes. It's a bit of a mess. We'll not talk about it. I love lashes. I think the bottom drawer is just, yeah, nails, makeup wipes, fake tan, deodorant, 
that kind of thing. And then I'll just quickly show you this thing. These are just stickers I stuck on because if I get sent a sticker, I have to stick it somewhere. So I've got sponges. I wash them before I use them, not afterwards. Makeup remover. And then the second one is like hair stuff, like hair bubbles and bands. And then the bottom is just techy stuff. And then we've only got a few things left to look at. So I've got my two her clutter boxes i did i mean you'll see these properly in the videos where i like declutter but on top i basically i had this lipstick holder so i put all my stilas in it and my favorite like barry m's and then these elf ones just because they match and um, i just thought that was a cute way to store all my stilas and then in this one this is a lip gloss holder i just put other ones that i love i just like having them on display and then this top drawer is Weird colour lipsticks, I think you're probably too overexposed, aren't you? Weird colour lipsticks and gloss. And we've got nudes. That is so nice. I got this Lime Crime Virgo and I've been wearing it a lot. Pinks. Beautiful pinks. And then beautiful reds and burgundies. And then in this right hand side one, how appealing is that drawer? Gel eyeliners or water activated eyeliners or single shadows so I've got like my dose of colours teal me more which is probably I actually used this a couple of weeks ago try and open it with my stomach no I can't open it I've swatched that a million times for you my stunning Urban Decay singles um pigment pomades these are all by what's the brand again Sheen these are great, they're UV activated, which is why I've got the UV light. And then this next drawer is just more glitter. I've got heaps of OPV, more Urban Decay. This is a Stila highlighter, but I use it as a like glitter and glow. My gorgeous collection ones. It's a backup of Barium Heat, because I love it and I don't want to run out. And then this drawer is all my sample beauty pigments, which I adore. Some loose glitters and then just glitter adhesives at the back. Spare drawer. Sometimes like if I get something new and I'm desperate to try it, I'll put it in here. And then I'll just remember that it's there. And then over here, I've still got my like how I store my pencil solution. I still adore this solution for storing pencils. It is the best thing ever. So eyeliners, 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 lip liners, lip liners. And then that's just my like freckle pens which I like to keep upside down just so that they don't run out. My brushes. This pot is brushes that need washed. Don't judge me because I will wash them. So my camera sits, my mirror and my monitor and my great little speaker. If you need a portable speaker, these Anchor ones. I got it on Amazon after Kelly suggested it to me and they're great. Really good. So yeah, that is my beauty room now. And we look through my drawers. I just wanted to do something a bit more casual and informal today. I hope you don't mind. I just didn't fancy like sitting down and filming a proper video. So yeah, that is that is how we are looking. I'm clearly not a great <laughs> interior designer. There's literally nothing on the walls. But to be honest, I just like my spaces to be clean and tidy and not cluttered too much. <laughs> Which, I mean, this is a little bit. But yeah, that is that is how things are looking right now.